Imperial Chemical Industries (ICI) was a British chemical company and was for much of its history the largest manufacturer in Britain. It was formed by the merger of leading British chemical companies in 1926. Its headquarters were at Millbank in London, and it was a constituent of the FT30 and later the FTSE 100 indices. ICI made paints and specialty products, including food ingredients, specialty polymers, electronic materials, fragrances and flavorings. It was acquired by Axonobel in 2008, who immediately sold parts of ICI to Henkel, and integrated ICI's remaining operations within its existing organization. History Development of the business 1926 The company was founded in December 1926 from the merger of four companies, Brunner Mond, Nobel Explosives, the United Alkali Company, and British Dyestuffs Corporation. It established its head office at Millbank in London in 1928. Competing with DuPont and IG Farben, the new company produced chemicals, explosives, fertilizers, insecticides, dyestuffs, non-ferrous metals, and paints. In its first year turnover was £27 million. In the 1920s and 30s, the company played a key role in the development of new chemical products, including the dyestuff thalocyanine 1929, the acrylic plastic perspex 1932, Dulux paints 1932, co-developed with DuPont, polyethylene 1937, and polyethylene terephthalate fiber known as Terraline 1941. In 1940, ICI started British Nylon Spinners as a joint venture with Courtaulds. ICI also owned the Sunbeam motorcycle business, which had come with Nobel Industries, and continued to build motorcycles until 1937. During the Second World War, ICI was involved with the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons program codenamed Tube Alloys. Topic Post-war innovation 1945 In the 1940s and 50s, the company established its pharmaceutical business and developed a number of key products, including paludrine 1940s, an anti-malarial drug, halothane 1951, an anesthetic agent, inderol 1965, a beta blocker, tamoxifen 1978, a frequently used drug for for breast cancer, and Peak 1979, a high-performance thermoplastic. ICI formed ICI Pharmaceuticals in 1957. ICI developed a fabric in the 1950s known as crimpling, a thick polyester yarn used to make a fabric of the same name. The resulting cloth is heavy and wrinkle-resistant, and retains its shape well. The California-based fashion designer Edith Flagg was the first to import this fabric from Britain to the USA. During the first two years, ICI gave Flagg a large advertising budget to popularize the fabric across America. In 1960, Paul Chambers became the first chairman appointed from outside the company. Chambers employed the consultancy firm McKinsey to help with reorganizing the company. His eight-year tenure saw export sales double, but his reputation was severely damaged by a failed takeover bid for Courtaulds in 1961–62. In 1962, ICI developed the controversial herbicide, Paraquat. 
ICI was confronted with the nationalization of its operations in Burma on 1 August 1962 as a consequence of the military coup. In 1964, ICI acquired British Nylon Spinners, BNS, the company it had jointly set up in 1940 with Courtaulds. ICI surrendered its 37.5% holding in Courtaulds and paid Courtaulds £2 million a year for five years. To take account of the future development expenditure of Courtaulds in the nylon field, in return, Courtaulds transferred to ICI their 50% holding in BNS. BNS was absorbed into ICI's existing polyester operation, ICI Fibers. The acquisition included BNS production plants in Pontypool, Gloucester and Doncaster, together with research and development in Pontypool. Early pesticide development included Gramazone 1962, a herbicide, the insecticides Pyramyphos methyl in 1967 and Pyramycarp in 1970. Brodifacem a rodenticide was developed in 1974. In the late 1970s, ICI was involved in the early development of synthetic pyrethroid insecticides such as Lambda Sahalithrin. Peter Allen was appointed chairman between 1968 and 1971. He presided over the purchase of Viella. Profits shrank under his tenure. Jack Collard was appointed chairman from 1971 to 1975. He almost doubled company profits between 1972 and 1974, and made ICI Britain's largest exporter. In 1971, the company acquired Atlas Chemical Industries Inc., a major American competitor. In 1977, Imperial Metal Industries was divested as an independent quoted company. From 1982 to 1987, the company was led by the charismatic John Harvey Jones. Under his leadership, the company acquired the Beatrice Chemical Division in 1985 and Glidden Coatings and Resins, a leading paints business, in 1986. Topic reorganization of the business 1991 to 2007 In 1991, ICI sold the agricultural and merchandising operations of Britag and Scottish Agricultural Industries to Norsk Hydro, and fought off a hostile takeover bid from Hansen, who had acquired 2.8% of the company. It also divested its soda ash products arm to Brunner Mond, ending an association with the trade that had existed since the company's inception, one that had been inherited from the original Brunner, Mond and Co. Ltd. In 1992, the company sold its nylon business to DuPont. In 1993, the company demerged its pharmaceutical bio-science businesses, pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, specialities, seeds and biological products were all transferred into a new and independent company called Zeneca. Zeneca subsequently merged with Astra AB to form AstraZeneca. Charles Miller Smith was appointed CEO in 1994, one of the few times that someone from outside ICI had been appointed to lead the company, Smith having previously been a director at Unilever. Shortly afterwards, the company acquired a number of former Unilever businesses in an attempt to move away from its historical reliance on commodity chemicals. In 1995, ICI acquired the American paint company Grow Group. In 1997, ICI acquired National Starch and Chemical, Quest International, Unichema, and Crossfield, the specialty chemicals businesses of Unilever for $8 billion. This step was part of a strategy to move away from cyclical bulk chemicals and to progress up the value chain to become a higher growth, higher margin business. 
Later that year it went on to buy Rutz & Huber, a Swiss paints business, having taken on some £4 billion of debt to finance these acquisitions. The company had to sell off its commodity chemicals businesses. Disposals of bulk chemicals businesses at that time included the sale of its Australian subsidiary, ICI Australia, for £1 billion in 1997, and of its polyester chemicals business to DuPont for $3 billion also in 1997. In 1998, it sold Crossfield to W. R. Grace and bought Atchison Industries Inc., an electronic chemicals business. In 2000, ICI sold its diisocyanate, advanced materials, and specialty chemicals businesses at Teesside and worldwide, including plants at Rosenberg in the Netherlands, and South Africa, Malaysia, and Taiwan, and Tioxide, its titanium dioxide subsidiary, to Huntsman Corporation for £1.7 billion. It also sold the last of its industrial chemicals businesses to Ineos for £300 million. In 2006, the company sold Quest International, its flavors and fragrances business, to Gavadin, for £1.2 billion and Unicama, its oleochemical business, to Crota International, for £410 million, having sold much of its historically profitable commodities businesses, and many of the new speciality businesses which it had failed to integrate. The company consisted mainly of the Dulux Paints business, which quickly found itself the subject of a takeover by Axonobel. Takeover by Axonobel Dutch firm Axonobel owner of Crown Burger Paints bid £7.2 billion, billion Euros or $14.5 billion for ICI in June 2007. An area of concern about a potential deal was ICI's British Pension Fund, which had future liabilities of more than £9 billion at the time. Regulatory issues in the UK and other markets where Dulux and Crown Paints brands each have significant market share were also a cause for concern for the boards of ICI and Axonobel. In the UK, any combined operation without divestments would have seen Axonobel have a 54% market share in the paint market. The initial bid was rejected by the ICI board and the majority of shareholders. However, a subsequent bid for £8 billion, .82 billion Euros was accepted by ICI in August 2007, pending approval by regulators, at 8 a.m. on 2 January 2008. Completion of the takeover of ICI plc by Axonobel was announced. Shareholders of ICI received either £6.70 in cash or Axonobel loan notes to the value of £6.70 per one nominal ICI share. The adhesives business of ICI was transferred to Henkel as a result of the deal. While Axonobel agreed to sell its Crown Paints subsidiary to satisfy the concerns of the European Commissioner for Competition. The areas of concern regarding the ICI UK pension scheme were addressed by ICI and Axonobel. Topic operations ICI operated a number of chemical sites around the world. In the UK, the main plants were as follows: Billingham in Stockton on Tees and Wilton in present-day Redcar and Cleveland. ICI used the Billingham site to manufacture fertilizers in the 1920s and went on to produce plastics at Billingham in 1934. During World War II, it manufactured synthonia, a synthetic ammonia for explosives. The Wilton R&D site was built to support the plastics division with R&D and chemical engineering facilities. 
The ICI Billingham Division was split into the ICI Heavy Organic Chemicals Division and ICI Agricultural Division in the 1960s. From 1971 to 1988 ICI Physics and Radioisotopes Section later known as Tracerco operated a small General Atomics Triga Mark I nuclear reactor at its Billingham factory for the production of radioisotopes used in the manufacture of flow and level instruments, among other products. The Agricultural Division was noted for the development of the world's largest bioreactor at the time, the 1.5 million liter protein reactor, used for the cultivation of animal feed. This had limited economic success but was followed by the much more successful development of corn. Blackley in Manchester and Huddersfield, ICI used the sites to manufacture dye stuffs. The dye business, known as the ICI Dyestuffs Division in the 1960s, went through several reorganizations. Huddersfield was tied in with Wilton with nitrobenzene, nitrotoluene production. Huddersfield also produced insecticides, Syngenta still make insecticides at HUDS. Proxel Biocide was made at Huddersfield from the 80s onwards. Additives also made at Huddersfield. Huddersfield became Zeneca then AstraZeneca. In 2004, Huddersfield was Syngenta, Avisha, Arch, and Lubrizol running what were all ICI plants at one time. Through the years, it was combined with other specialty chemicals businesses and became Organics Division. Then became ICI Colors and Fine Chemicals and then ICI Specialties. Runcorn in Cheshire, ICI operated a number of separate sites within the Runcorn area, including Castor Kellner site, where ICI manufactured chlorine and sodium hydroxide caustic soda. Adjacent to Kastner Kellner site was Rock Savage Works, where a variety of chemicals based on chlorine products were manufactured, including chloromethanes, Arclone dry cleaning fluid, trichloethylene degreasing fluid, and the Arcton range of CFCs. Also on that site were PVC manufacture and HF hydrogen fluoride manufacture. At Runcorn Heath Research Laboratories, technical support, research and development for MON Division products was carried out, and the support sections included chemical plan design and engineering sections. Just to the north of Runcorn, on an island between the Manchester Ship Canal and the River Mersey could be found the Whig Works, which had been erected originally for producing poison gas in wartime. In Widness could also be found several factories producing weed killers and other products. For many years it was known as ICI Mond Division but later became part of the ICI Chemicals and Polymers Division. The Runcorn site was also responsible for the development of the Haji and spinning disc reactor concepts. These were originated by Professor Colin Ramshaw and led to the concept of process intensification. Research into these novel technologies is now being pursued by the Process Intensification Group at Newcastle University. Winnington and Wallerscote in Northwich, Cheshire. It was here that ICI manufactured sodium carbonate, soda ash, and its various byproducts such as sodium bicarbonate, bicarbonate of soda, and sodium sesquicarbonate. The Winnington site, built in 1873 by the entrepreneurs John Tomlinson Brunner and Ludwig Mond, was also the base for the former company Brunner, Mond & Co. Limited and, after the merger which created ICI, the powerful and influential Alkali Division. It was at the laboratories on this site that polythene was discovered by accident in 1933 during experiments into high-pressure reactions. 
Wallerscote was built in 1926, its construction delayed by the First World War, and became one of the largest factories devoted to a single product soda ash in the world. However, the decreasing importance of the soda ash trade to ICI in favor of newer products such as paints and plastics, meant that in 1984 the Wallerscote site was closed, and thereafter mostly demolished. The laboratory where polythene was discovered was sold off and the building became home to a variety of businesses including a go-kart track and paintballing, and the Winnington Works were divested to the newly formed company, Brunner Mond, in 1991. It was again sold in 2006, to Tata an Indian-based company and in 2011 was rebranded as Tata Chemicals Europe. The Winnington plant closed in February 2014, with the last shift on 2 February bringing to a close 140 years of soda ash production in this Northwich site. Ardier in Stevenston, Ayrshire, ICI Nobel used the site to manufacture dynamite and other explosives and nitrocellulose-based products. For a time, the site also produced nylon and nitric acid. Nobel Enterprises was sold in 2002 to Inabata. SLU in Berkshire, headquarters of ICI Paints Division. Welland Garden City in Hertfordshire, headquarters of ICI Plastics Division until the early 1990s. Topic: Argentina. ICI subsidiary called Deperial from 1928 to 1995, when it was renamed to ICI. Established in the city of San Lorenzo, Santa Fe. Operating an integrated production site with commercial offices in Buenos Aires. Since 2009, called Axonobel Functional Chemicals SA, and makes sulfuric acid with ISO certification. Topic: <inaudible> Australia. The subsidiary ICI Australia Limited established the Dry Creek salt fields at Dry Creek north of Adelaide, South Australia, in 1940, with an associated soda ash plant at nearby Osborne. In 1989, these operations were sold to Penrice Soda Products. An ICI plant was built at Botany Bay in New South Wales in the 1940s and was sold to Orica in 1997. The plant once manufactured paints, plastics and industrial chemicals such as solvents. It was responsible for the Botany Bay groundwater plume contamination of a local aquifer. Topic. New Zealand The subsidiary ICI New Zealand provided substantial quantities of chemical products, including swimming pool chemicals, commercial healthcare products, herbicides and pesticides for use within New Zealand and the neighbouring Pacific Islands. A fire at the ICI New Zealand store in Mount Wellington, Auckland, on 21 December 1984, killed an ICI employee and caused major health concerns. Over 200 firefighters were exposed to toxic smoke and effluents during the firefighting efforts. Six firefighters retired for medical reasons as a result of the fire. This incident was a major event in the history of the New Zealand Fire Service and subject to a formal investigation, led by future Chief Justice Sean Elias. 
The fire was a trigger for major reforms of the service. Direct consequences included improved protective clothing for firefighters, a standard safety protocol for major incidents, the introduction of dedicated fireground safety officers, and changes to occupational health regulations. Topic. See also EMI PLC formerly Imperial Metal Industries Pharmaceutical Industry in the United Kingdom <laughs>